Hi, Cancer. This is for Cancer Tarot Scopes. So anyone with Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus in Cancer, this reading is for you. It's a general collective Cancer reading. And this is Meg from Padme's. And I'm going to call in our angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light. Asking our angels and guides to let me know what it is that I need to know for cancer, for your greatest good and present time for June 2020. What is it that you need to hear for your most benevolent outcomes? And let's see what you got, cancer. Okay, the first thing that I'm noticing here is the big picture. And the big picture is talking about feeling some aloofness. It's talking about not taking the first, not settling is what it's talking about. So big picture is talking about not settling for June. And your advice is talking about pursuing something that you really truly love, not settling, not settling for the thing that you kind of love, but the thing that you really love. Let's see what's going on. Your higher self is talking about a new passion, a new endeavor based on passion. It's like the spark of interest, the spark of excitement, igniting a new thing. And your angels and guides are like, this might be a new thing, but this is not your first rodeo. You've done this before. You know what you're doing. So that's interesting. Release the idea that you can't collaborate. Though figuring out what it is that you need to collaborate on is more the question. There's some incubation that needs to happen with what it is that you're needing to collaborate with. Heart of the situation is talking about releasing some things, old friendships, old social contacts and releasing them like water under the bridge. I'm even getting drop them like a hot potato kind of thing. So people that you thought might have been friendly or might have been good partners in the past for whatever reason, water under the bridge, let them stay in the past. Those things, yeah, I'm hearing those things are not worth mending. I'm all about healing. I'm all about healing things, decharging, taking, taking the charge out of situations and things like that. But this is talking about not expending a whole lot of time and energy and effort trying to heal something that it's just not the time to do that. Healing it for yourself, resolving it for yourself is one thing. Working it out, working on relationships, having conversations, it's time to move forward and end something and collaborate, but think about the collaboration. Think about what you're going to be collaborating before you actually step into that. Something going on to cancer happening now and into the near future, talking about emotional things from the past coming up, resurfacing, which makes total sense because of Mercury retrograde in June, but things resurfacing, resurfacing from the past and coming up to the surface to be revealed and looked at. And actually, this is about healing. It's just not about healing the thing at hand. It's more so about healing the thing at hand that triggered the things that happened a long time ago. Right? And these are worthiness things. Things that have you question your worthiness. Things that have you perhaps settling when you shouldn't be settling. So there's no settling going on in June, Cancer. That's the plan. So past, present, future. In the past, this is a foundation that looks very solid, stable. Could be. What I'm feeling is that it, even though it's solid and stable, it could be not aligned and not the right thing, even though it feels solid and stable. The present time, that was past, this is present. There's a calling and there is a decision that needs to be made around your true calling. This could be a relationship. This could be an endeavor, a true calling. 
and a decision that needs to be made about it. Let's just ask more about that decision. It looks like a foundation needs to be ruffled and stuff needs to happen that makes you feel uncomfortable. Solid foundation is back here and this is going to bring upheaval to that solid foundation. And then in the future, here's the high priestess. She's keeping to herself. She has all of her business to herself. She has, she's looking at everything. She's aware of everything. She knows what's going on and she's not talking. She's keeping it to herself. No regrets here. She's just being the observer. No regrets with anything that's happened. She's just watching and waiting. And she's watching and waiting and releasing things that no longer serve her. She's aware of those things that no longer serve her. And she's waiting for them to settle. So she's not settling. She's waiting for the dust to settle. Anything else? There is something coming from a place of wishes not being fulfilled, but this would be in the past. So coming from a place of wishes not being fulfilled, ending something, changing something, doing something by yourself, at least for a little bit until you figure out how you want to collaborate. And there's resistance to streamlining the resources. There's also resistance to not moving forward. It just seems like cancer, all this stuff is going to happen at once. You're going to jump in the pool and suddenly you're going to realize it's not a pool, it's a waterfall. Anything your higher self has to say? Your higher self is talking about disappointment in the past, sadness and heart upset, but you're already in a healing phase of it. So you're already, your toe is in the pool that is the the waterfall. What do your guides and angels want to say about this? This is all going to happen faster than you, you think. So what else do you, I'm going to just ask one more big picture. It's about a new offer, Cancer. You get a new offer. And that's what is the catalyst for you to move forward and move on. Happening now and into the near future, you have to unplug from something else first, make some boundaries, and then your heart chakra opens and the universe has your back and is on your side and things just go really fast. I'm gonna pull a work your light oracle for you, Cancer. Protection. Call back your power, cut the cords, soul retrieval. Yep. Soul retrieval. Cutting things out that no longer serve you, ending things, cut the cords, pulling back your essence and your energy. This is nice, Cancer. You know what? I'm going to pull a goddess card for you, too. Goddess card. Oh, Estra, new beginnings. Okay. new beginnings cancer this is about collaboration it's about it's the card 13 so one and three new beginnings and collaborations it looks like that offer is going to have you thinking differently really quickly so that's what i have for you for june 2020 cancer thanks so much i'll see you next month